For two years, we have been living in a tent here on the field, and now we have a home. We have got a place where we always eager to come back to. I mean, we have not broken off our relations with the town yet, but to come back here from town, it's just indescribable feeling. The main asset of the house is considered to be a stove, made of straw and clay, like the whole house is. It's a kind of work of art. I just set a task to Yuri. I said to him, I need a stove, a way to have a cooking place, an oven, and also to be ring-shaped, for it is to fit into our ring-shaped design. And you know, it seems to me he made it just perfect, although the upper bed was not meant. But Yuri's favorite fairy tale is Amelia, who used to go by stove. And so he tried to put all his efforts to think up a way to have an upper bed. I mean, he measured the height all the time to make sure that there will be enough space left where you can lie comfortably. And so you see it is made, the stove. It was made by feelings, because there are no standards here. It was just sculptured around by the hands, the way it was going itself. We have a roof here, as 12-sided pyramid, and the rafters come to the end right at the stove level. I mean out there, and it happened that the stove is sitting at the bottom of the 12-sided pyramid, and here in the center of the pyramid, which is made in almost golden ratio production, we have this bed, so that any person who comes to visit us, Yuri forward them up to the stove straight away. He says, it is a cosmic portal, so once you climb up here, you are carried away to nowhere. And really, when people climb up here, a transformation occurs. I mean that people are really being changed. We have those who already went through this, and they say, listen, your stove is an absolutely tremendous thing. Вот, и народ залез...